Hello everyone. In this chapter, we will take a look at the outline shader. Here is the scene that I have created to show you an example of what an outline shader looks like in the game and what you can do with it. You can use the outline shader to create the outline on any object. You can use it in the game to show the selection of the object. You can use it in any of the menu item that you create in the game and any object that is highlighted or that is selected will get this outline which will be easily visible and distinguishable from all the other objects. In this outline shader, you will be able to control the width of the outline, the color of the outline. So let's get back to our blackboard and understand what this shader is composed of and how we can create it. If we try to deconstruct the shader, we will see that the shader is divided or composed of two different components. So one is rendering the object with texture and or or with any other properties. And this is similar to what we had been doing when we created a texture shader. We started rendering the object with a texture on top of it. So this looks simple that we have to just render the object with its properties. And then another component is rendering or drawing the outline. And this will be behind the actual object. So any part should not overlap actual rendering of the object's shape. So these are the two different components of the outline shader. And as we have two different components of the shader, we will write two different passes to perform each of these operations. So one pass will render the object with texture and or or with any other property. And another pass will render the outline. So this will be pass one. This will be pass two. Pass one sounds easy because we have already done that. We can take the code of the texture shader and pack it inside our pass one. Now, the question for the second pass is how we are going to create the outline of the mesh. If you take a close look of the outline, you will see that the outline is just a scaled up version of the mesh and it's rendered in a single color instead of the texture that is applied on the main object. So our goal in the shader will be to scale up the mesh in the shader and render it in one color to draw the outline. And once the outline is drawn, draw the original mesh with the texture. So once we achieve these two things, we will be able to create the outline shader. Now the next question is how we will scale up the mesh inside the shader. In the chapter of MVP metrics, we understood that to perform any transformation operation, it may be translation, rotation, or scaling of the object. We have to multiply the object matrix with its respective operation matrix. That means if we are translating a mesh, we will have to multiply the object matrix with translation matrix. If we are rotating something, we will have to multiply the object matrix with the rotation matrix. And if we want to scale something up or down, we will have to multiply the object space matrix with the scale matrix. For this shader, we will require the scaling matrix or the scale matrix, but we will also take a look at translation and rotation matrices. So first, let's begin with translation matrix. As we know that these matrices are four by four matrices and the basic matrix is the identity matrix. What identity matrix is that besides this diagonal line, which is formed of ones, everything else is zero. 
we will take the base of identity matrix to understand all our matrices. If we replace these three corner zeros with x, y, and z 